Hello. Now, today is Friday. Praise God. Now, all week, we've been looking at faith for living. Practical things I'm sharing with you. And now, now, now I want to hear from you. See, when I share things like this, I want to be sure that you are getting it. And then if you have questions, don't hesitate. If you are trying to put this thing to work and you're having a challenge, this thing is, this thing is, is, is not... It's not something you just read and keep in your mind. It's something you take out, you practice, you, you just do something about it. And you know, the Lord is there to confirm his word. If what I'm saying is the truth, the Lord is there to confirm it. How does he confirm it? Not coming to tell me, my son, you have shared the truth. No, he confirms it in your own life. You that is hearing, you that is listening, he confirms it in your life. And then the result you get becomes your story, becomes your testimony. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, there is an open heaven over everyone watching and listening right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The atmosphere of faith, the atmosphere to receive your word, the atmosphere to hear your voice. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Freely, you are distributing your truth to everyone right now. And their lives are being changed. In Jesus' precious name, amen. So we'll go to Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. So I've talked to you about how to believe. You believe based on facts. So get your facts. Get your facts. You see, you, you see he that believes must, he that comes to God must believe that he is. And he rewards those who seek him. So you take up those facts now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now that's what I was talking to you about the woman with the issue of blood. Now, she got her facts that Jesus is a healer and he is passing by. See? Now, you get those facts and then you tell yourself, you know what? I'm going to deal with this thing in three days. In three days, I'm going to deal with this thing. Now you can decide to take a fact. Now this thing, maybe maybe you've been having a particular challenge for a while now. Maybe finances. Maybe your finances have not been doing so well. You're just going from one trouble to the other. You know what I'm talking about? You you just realize supply is not coming. Maybe you got fired at your job, and then after you got fired at your job, someone called you that that investment you made it's 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 gone. And then you 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 know just like job things are just. What do I do? Whatever it is, it may not be finances, it may be whatever, just whatever. Any situation that is not pleasant to you. What do I do? The first thing you need to do is to get your facts. Fact that what that God is in these environments. God can do this. God can handle this. Now you can get from your Bible, you can get from testimonies of other people. Everything you can get. That's why, you know, that's why I always tell you this, that the Bible is a compendium of people who have used the Word of God or who, who received the Word of God and, and what they did with it and what their end result was. So you, you take your facts from there and then you tell yourself, you know what? God can do this. Yeah, he can. I know what to do. I'm going to take out the next three days to fast and pray. Or I'm going to take out Monday to Wednesday to fast and pray concerning this situation. Because now I know that God can see. If God can do it, then why, why, why haven't I seen it in my life? And then you tell yourself, in three days. In three. Now that is also an expression of faith on your side. Or you can say, in one day, I'm going to fast tomorrow. I'm not going anywhere. Now, see, when you do this thing, it's not the one you say, I'm fasting tomorrow, and then you, you go to work in the morning, and then you're so busy, and you didn't even have time to pray. Yeah, oh, break time, break time. Ah, I've got to finish this. Oh, remaining five, five minutes. Let me just shakala baba, raka. You're not serious. You're not, you're not going to get any result like that. You say, you know what? I think it's high time I handle this situation. I'm going to take tomorrow off work. Or I'm going to take this Saturday, it's a weekend. Or I'm going to take Sunday. You know what? On Sunday, I'm not stepping out of this house. I'm not even going to church. You won't die. <laughs> what I'm saying is, 
create that time, you know that, okay, you know what? I have this day to myself. I'm going to deal with this issue. And then you set, you set that time and say, Lord, I, I believe that you can handle this thing for me. So, Lord, I want you to tell me. I, I pray like that sometimes. I want you to tell me with your mouth if I'm not a candidate for this thing. Tell me now. Tell me you cannot do this for me. Let's know. Let's settle this matter today. But if you can, then you need to do it now. So, Lord, I want to hear from you what I need to do, how I need to get this done. What are you doing? You are seeking the Lord. Why are you seeking the Lord? Because you believe that he is. And you begin to pray and pray and pray. And while you're praying, you're listening to the voice of the Lord. That is seeking. See, when you're looking for something, you don't just start sweeping the whole house. You know, maybe you're looking for, for something in your house. You don't get the broom and start sweeping the whole house. You, know, and sweeping. you, you see, when you come into there, because you're looking for something, you're not just, oh, I'm going to clean my house today. Because you're looking for something, you say, okay, mm, I, I think I came to this place with it. Okay, so let me, let me raise everything here. And then you raise everything there, turn it upside down, clear that whole place, sweep out everything that is there. And then you check, oh, wow, I didn't see it here. Okay. Let me, let me check. I think I remember coming this way. And then, now, you may end up sweeping the whole house and rearranging the whole house. But you see, because you are seeking something, it's different from someone who's just sweeping and cleaning the house. You that is seeking something, when, you, when you're cleaning and sweeping, you're looking out for something. It's the same thing when you're seeking the Lord. When you are praying in the Spirit, you, you just, you know, I'm going to pray in tongues for as long as I can. But you're going to be praying. You're not shakalaba, rababa, roko, reggae, baba, baba. You pray and pray and pray. Oh, it's like I'm sensing something. It's like I'm sensing something. Then kova sha, ka ha ha la kabusha. And then you stay quiet for a while. Why? It's like God is about to speak to me now. And you become quiet for a while. And you may stay quiet and then you don't hear anything. You say, Lord, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to hear from you concerning this issue. You need, to, you need to tell me what to do. I need to know from you. If you don't tell me, there is nothing I can do. And you go, Lord, you are great in this thing. Lord, this, this story I read in the Bible wasn't a lie. You did it. You did it. Yes, you did it and I believe that you can do it for me you know, you're praying like that I tell you the truth he is a rewarder of those that diligently say it may be sickness in your body you're praying I've seen this happen and you're praying and the Lord say call, call Susan so doctor he will tell specific call Susan so doctor why is Lord telling me to go to the hospital the law says call the doctor. It can also mean go to him, go see the doctor. Now, when he says go see Susan, so, he's not saying go to the hospital. You just go to the hospital. Well, God is saying I should go to the hospital. Let me just go to the hospital. And then you go to the hospital and say, I want to see a doctor. And then he says, Oh, uh, Dr. James is around. Not the doctor that God says you see. And then you go see, I've gone, I think I went to. He, when he says call Susan, oh, go see Susan, so, be specific with God. You see, now you go to the hospital. <laughs> this is amazing. You go to the hospital. And that's why when you walk with God, never conclude too early. The fact that God is saying go to see the doctor doesn't mean he's telling you go and be admitted in the hospital. And then you go to the doctor and, and you see the specific doctor that God says you should go see. If he, if he tells you specifically. If he just says go to the hospital and just obey him. And Now the fact that he tells you go to the hospital doesn't also mean he's telling you go and be admitted in the hospital. You understand what I'm saying? Now, when God says go to the hospital, when you get into the hospital environment, you should be looking out for what God is, why the Lord says you should come here. You know, you can just sit beside somebody waiting to see a doctor. And then suddenly the person says, ah, man, you know, after, I used to have this challenge. I say, oh, really? And maybe that's the challenge you're having. Yeah, so how did you deal with it? Man, this is what I did. I, I took this... Um, thing and I took this medication and I took this thing. Like, oh, 
really, and it's gone, it's gone. Really? Wow, good for you. And I, mm, hold on, Lord. Is this why he said I should come to the hospital? The Lord said, yeah, you've gotten it. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, oh, I thought, I thought I was coming here to be admitted. I thought, Lord, so should I see the doctor or should I just go home? Now, you can actually hear God say, go home. I'm done with you. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? Why? Because you have learned to seek the Lord. And don't jump into conclusion. You can be looking for money. You hear the Lord say, go to the bank. Go to the bank to do what? I don't have money in the bank. Should I go and take a loan? Or what are you telling me to go to the bank? Obey the Lord. Go to the bank. You might just be driving in, you know, to the bank and trying to park. And you see somebody say, hey, ah, where have you been? I've been looking for you since. Looking for me for what? Ah, there's this job that um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, really? Are you serious? What are you doing now? Let, can we go there? Uh, um, no, the Lord said I should come to the bank. Uh, no, I'm in a hurry. I'm in a, I need to leave here now. If, I, if you can follow me, let's just go there. Um, let, me, let me finish. Hey, 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 hey. You know, I'll be telling God said I should go. You are aren't you at the bank. <laughs> Praise God. You are at the bank and something is going on that you didn't plan for. What do you do? Lord, hold on. just say, yeah, give me a second. Give me a second, please. And you just step back into your car and say, Lord, is this the reason I should come to the bank? The peace of God will guide you. And I said, yes, follow him. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. And then you go there and problem solved. What you're looking for, you find. And that's how the spirit of God works. But many times, because we don't understand him, we jump into conclusion. We don't even wait for him to finish. He says, go to the bank. And then he wants to tell you something for, ah, okay, 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 Lord. Okay, Lord, I'm going to the bank. I'm going to the bank. Ah, not today. Tomorrow, I'm going to the bank. I've seen testimonies upon testimonies like this by the word of the Lord leading you. Why? Because you are seeking the Lord. Listen, there is no other way about I'm. Just, you know what I'm telling you? I'm telling you how to do this yourself. Now, if you are too lazy to seek the Lord, then where do you want to start from? God doesn't work with lazy people. Never. never. Check through scriptures. God has never worked with a lazy man. Now, the worst form of laziness you can have is the laziness to seek, seek the Lord. If you're too lazy to seek the Lord, then you are finished. Because, you see, it, it means Satan has successfully disconnected you from your destiny. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You know, because sometimes people say, oh, what does this guy do? He doesn't go to work. Every day he's just in the house praying, 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 praying. Make sure that your prayer is not just an act of praying, but a, a, a deliberate seeking of the Lord. You may have no job right now, so what are you doing about it? And you're going to the Lord, say, Lord, I, I, want, to, I want to know what's on your mind concerning me. Should I go get a job? Should I go into business? Should I, what exactly do, would you have me do? And then you go before the Lord and that, someone say, why are you not going out? You know, I, I, I'm trying to get God's mind. You know? So all you do is pray, pray, pray. Yes. He's trying to get the mind of God. Now the moment you get the mind of God, it's time to move. Now sometimes people discourage you from this. You know, sometimes you even hear, okay, someone, you, 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 meet, it, you meet this beautiful lady or you meet this, this, this guy and something just tickled inside of you. Maybe is this the guy, you know, and, and, and things like that. Hey, before you go further, go before the Lord. Now, now this is where wrong teaching has affected a lot of people. And someone, oh, ah, but my pastor said that God does not choose wife or husband. People will use your sense, use your head, use your head and find a wife for yourself. The Bible says, he that finds a wife. That's wrong. The one who belongs to God as a child of God, how do you find if he doesn't open your eye to see? So what do you do first? You go before him and say, Lord, what's your mind concerning this guy? What's your mind concerning this lady I just met? 
I, I really want to know because, Lord, you know what? I need you to guide my paths, guide my steps. I want to know what I'm doing. So, Lord, can you, can you, can you speak to me? What are you doing? You are seeking the Lord. And what's going to come to you, the word of God is going to be given to you. Now, that is where your faith. Now, the moment God speaks to you, now he can speak, he can speak to you in several ways. But you know that he's spoken to you. And he said, ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you. I get it. I get it. Now, you start out on that journey from the place of faith. I'll tell you what, you will never go wrong. Praise God. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bless everyone watching and, and, and listening right now. These words are making meaning in your heart and the result is being produced by it. Your faith is increased right now and the word of the Lord is coming to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen. Take this weekend to seek the Lord concerning whatever, whatever you want to seek Him. L listen to those words from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and today's one. Listen to them again and put it to work. Hear me? You will come back with a testimony. Have a best weekend ever. God bless you. Bye-bye.